All right. So we have some sort of data sets here. Okay. And we are going to load some up from here. Right. So first we are going to discuss about this hospital data set. What exactly is this you'll be getting to know, right? So this is the ICMR data set. Uh, no, sorry, I think this is exactly the HBD data set. So let's say this is hospital data set. So BF underscore of hospital. And then we are going to read the CSV file, which will be HBD dot CSV. Okay. And I'll be using the index column here because I need to read my data with the state UT. And I'll show you how it looks. See. So we have state, we have number of primary health centers, number of community health centers, sub district hospitals, uh, number of district hospitals, public health facilities, public beds, rural hospitals, and so on. Up there, data are there. And then we have serial number. Serial number was in the starting and that was to be the index, but we made the index as to be the state one, right? So from here, like if you want to see the information of this data set. You can go with this that there are total 37 entries uh, and 11 columns going on like from the serial number to number of album beds okay the data types used are there f19 and like object integers and the float and the memory usage has been given on okay so exactly what are the index So these are the index, right? Andaman, Nicoba Islands, Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, like that is the state name basically they are having, right? The, the particular state name you are having on, okay? Now, now we are going to just uh, visualize up the things, right? What's the shape also, right? First, let's see. That is defining. Thirty seven rows and eleven columns. Okay, fine. Now I want to see that in any of this column names, what we are having. In any of this column names, if you want to see the respective state data, like let's see uh, the number of total public health facilities in Delhi. If I want to see the total public health facilities in Delhi, this one, where it is? This, in the Delhi. Then what should I do? Hmm? I can easily write
right this is one question now what can be the solutions for finding this this can be hospital yeah this can be hospital and then going for the delhi Oh, column names are not sorry. Going for the Delhi and would be getting a sum of all this, right? From here we can see that is 615, right? Other option can be to go with this kind of thing Delhi just to see the Delhi column and then to make other things second step could be this that in the hospital you want to see uh, in the data set of df hospital you want to go with this column and you want to see only the particular uh, index value or the other can be using at it is because right writing the first index value and then the column value Right, so there can be a several steps to find out the thing accordingly. Right. So uh, where Delhi comes, what is the index value of this Delhi? Hmm? Where, what is the index value of this Delhi? nine right so we can also write for okay one minute one thing should be more done Six hundred and fifty, right? So this is basically to find the index number of this, and this was to. find the index number of Delhi got it and we made using the IR similarly you can go with the so I'm just showing you that there can be a lot of steps for finding any particular thing right you can use I locate and you can go with the line to getting up the whole thing as you did in the locate remember right or otherwise you can go with the df of hospital not 
right? Going with the same thing. Or else you can go with this writing up the name and then with the nine. If you go with this even uh, if underscore sorry, this is underscore. We'll be getting with this. Alright. So I mean to say that uh, there can be a lot of various methods to find one answer for any particular thing. Okay. There can be a lot of methods. See, there was only one question that to see the total public health facilities at Delhi and we find some more than four to five ways, right? That one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways are there. Now I could like, give you some eight ways. Okay, that's easy. Okay, moving next. So like this you can go with the anything, right? Now for any data set that is first important thing as I said ever, ever is to look on the look on the nullity of your data. Right? Uh, null values. Okay. Fine. So how many null values are going to be there? So only in the column of sub-district hospitals we have 7 null values. Apart from that, everything is fine, right? So let's plot a map. So we could see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values are there. That is in Andaman, Nicobar, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Daman and Diu, Jammu Kashmir, Maharashtra, sorry, not Maharashtra, Meghalaya and Nagaland and in the Tripura. Only these values are wicked, the null values. Other than this, everything is fine. Right? So what we do is, every time, we will drop the We have studied, right, how to drop the null values. And you could see, like, after dropping, the total data set looks like uh, this, okay? We have the columns and have the things respectively. If you go to see the shapes, it remains the same. Right? So what I will be doing is like I'll, after dropping, I'll be saving it in the hospital data set. So looking on the shape now becomes 30 cross 11. It is seven values has been dropped on seven rows particularly has been dropped okay fine now see guys uh, if you see for any particular column like let's say for the total public health facilities even right so if i want to see that how many uh, states are having more than 10000 public health facilities here right apart from this 
So we could find it like if we want to see. Right. So more than 10,000 we want to see. So what we can do is, right, health facilities more than 10,000. You could say it has a list of this, right? That should be more than 10,000. Uh, I think 1,000 would be better. <laughs> Go with this. 1,000, okay? And then we'll be counting for the true occurrence. So 14 states are there, okay. So 14 states are there, but also if you see in your data set, if you see the data set of the tail of this one, you'll find there the column of all India, sorry, the uh, row of all India where every value is there, right? So obviously we are not going to count this, right? Obviously we are not going to count this. So what we can do guys? From this, we have to write drop this particular row. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to convert this data set in the dictionary and then we'll be using drop pop item. This, build this. Right? So, health facilities dictionary. Right after conversion, what we are going to do is it's done. So all India has been all India has been deleted. Right? If I see HF dictionary dot keys. So we have the values of this all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and all. What is the length there? How? 29. Okay. Cool noises. Okay. So 29 is the, the length, right? Now we are going to create names list. And we'll look on to the names and all. Okay. So for the X in this HF dictionary. If HF of this X is equals to true. Name should be appended in the X. So we'll look on to the names. You can find all the names over there. Okay? All the names are there. Right? And then the values, what are the values now? What values I was talking about? True and false. 
So what are the true values have been there? Has been added up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So these are the 13 states which have the data of hospital uh, beds like which has the total public health facilities more than 1000. Right. Okay. Because that key was if you if you look on, if you look onto this HF dictionary, you'll find the values like true and false. Andhra Pradesh is having a data, Chandigarh is not having the data, and so that's the things were there, right? Chigant is respectively according to that. So these are the states which have the data of more than one K. Got it. And that's like how we do okay for finding out the things you can make it even very easier all right moving on to the next data set icmr let's load this Okay, first I'll give you a information of this. So this says that having 267 entries, six columns, and no null values I could see here. here. Okay. Two sixty-seven over six columns. Right, so looking on to the head now. So we have labs names, right? The address, the pin codes, the city, the states, and the type. All things are there. So we have types over there where you could see government collection site, government and all right. So to increase the head of Private government, is there any collection? Okay, fine. So, you have seen collection site, private laboratory, and the government laboratory there. Okay, now what to do with this? Right, uh, we are going to see that exactly what are the types we are having up there in this data set. Now, to see. Type of labs in India, ICMR labs. So we could say it as in this, we want to look on the type column and the unique values. So we have government laboratory, we have collection site, and we have private laboratory. You can also go with this one. You can also go for right or other than like if you want to
right? So there can be various steps you could go for, right? Okay. So we have three uh, kind of basically the labs, right? Collection sites, the government library, and the private library. Okay. What exactly the rows are there? Two hundred and sixty-seven. As you could see in the information, it was given two hundred and sixty-seven. But obviously, there are not two hundred sixty-seven states in India, right? So, what are the length of the states? Basically, uh, we are having here first of all. Two hundred and sixty-seven, right? Okay. Now it's thirty-four. So there are thirty-four unique states names given up there. Now this also includes the territories and all. right so let me look on to this we have a clear perception so we have andaman and nicobar islands arunachal pradesh andhra pradesh assam bihar chandigarh chatisgarh dadra and nagar haveli divan and diu And what else is there? Jammu Kashmir, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Ladakh is there. Okay, Manipur, Meghalaya, Odisha, and uh, like some things are there, right? Okay, so you can go with this. Like, you want to go with. Moving next, right? Okay. Now to look on that, uh, exactly how many pin codes are there? Like we are having two hundred sixty-seven states. Then obviously. Two hundred sixty-seven pin codes will be there. So we could say it as uh, it should be. So this is going to be the value, the unique pin codes, and this also. We don't want the pin code like we want the size of this. So total pin codes are two hundred sixty-seven, whereas unique pin codes are two hundred and thirty-six. Okay, right. So this belongs to the total pin codes, and all like you can go with this. Okay, like we want to see some random values. Some sample codes, right? Some basic sample codes. If you go with this, all to uh, see.
create has been an array. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, empty array is still there. Right. So like some values, random values over there. Okay. Fine. Now, uh, if you want to see that where the like if you are having the unique pin codes as 236, then like if we go for like doing 267 minus 236, that means there are some 31 common codes. And what exactly the common codes are there? That's right. Let's see. Here the values are there, pin codes, and here the counts are there, right? So I am going to print the total y value, and we could see 2, 3, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, and such things. This says that in this particular position, that 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 is displayed for two times, and so does the things are there. So we want to see, right? where exactly this has been more than for one time right so uh, we are going to make like the unique pin codes as uh, these are going to be basically the list of you can make it with the unique controls would be the list of uh, like what the why we are having is what's the size of this two hundred and thirty six okay. So unique pen let it be that okay and sort the values right so if you can go for unique pen dot Like looking under the first okay it's, it, this is sorted now right now what we are going to do is we are going to check now where where in this the X is greater than 1 so this says that these are the positions where the X value is greater than 1 no sorry not uh, like we don't want to go with this one exactly in the Y we want to see it there Right, because uh, X will be giving you the wrong result basically. So we have to see the Y. So these are the places where the values are greater than one. That means these are the codes which has been displayed for more than one time exactly. Right. So my values would be this. Oh, top of this there.
ました。So these are my index basically. Index positions. Right? Of the unique pin codes. So these are the positions of the unique pin codes, guys. Okay? Now to see exactly what are the pin codes, what we are going to do now. So which pin codes has been repeated up to find this. Once again. Yeah. So to find this we'll be writing. unique pin of i right so now if i go to look on to my pin codes i'll see that these are the pin codes which has been repeated the size oh sorry <laughs> this is the less right so we could find the length only Twenty-four, right? So these are the size of this one, and accordingly you can go with this all. So if we go for finding up, like what exactly the private labs are there, what exactly the test uh, collection sites are there, so you can just go with the plot. So there are more than 175 government laboratories, very less collection sites and more than 75 private laboratories. Okay. So these are the government libraries, 182 over some six columns with the states. Now, if you want for a respective state, you can use and, and you can write like for which state you want. Let's say for Delhi. Oh, cannot perform the Boolean results. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ok, 
okay so like looking on to this first and let us the same it's making a factor there I put it in the last one I think the untitled Let it be there, like if we go for finding out this in the ICMR of the state. Like in Delhi, we have eight government laboratories. All right. Hmm. So over there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight government libraries. Okay. Like this, you can go up to find the things according to you, right? So if I load my data set according to the state, then I think it would be done. Like if I go with this start, like. like now it would be uh, state in the first as my index and things would be there right so like if you want to go with rate right, with the states or like with the type whatever you want
that's how it is made. Like if you want to see with the type and go with the type government libraries and all, right? So now if, if uh, even to look on that, how many private libraries are there, uh, government libraries are there in like Delhi. So we can do like to see the private Delhi. Now we can easily write that we need to go with this ICMR and locate at, right? So we need to find Delhi, right? Write the column name and then write the city, right? The city. Is that city right exactly? Anything else is there? No. So lo locating all the values of Delhi in the city. Okay. I was trying to go in the previous school. It's not taking it. So we are getting the same result what we got in the previous one but the only difference was there that the, the type was in the right hand side now the type is in the left hand side right so exactly how many things are there like we have found right that there's there eight uh, occurrence are there basically right so can easily count up the things accordingly like if you make your own data you go for finding the iterations uh, like the uh, if you want to see like in the Maharashtra or Delhi or any such states you can go with creating data frames and then looking all the things uh, respectively right someone over there is it okay you can easily go with that to find out all right 
you could practice up this day in your drive you can go with that and practice up there.